Johor State is rich in natural landscapes beginning from the mountains to the open sea. It also possesses one of the biggest natural forests in Peninsular Malaysia. Almost all of the protected forests are located either in the permanent forest reserve or national parks. Apart from that, Johor State is also recognized for protecting its wetlands. Johor is proud of its designated wetlands of international importance or Ramza sites which were bestowed upon Kukup Island, Tanjung Piai and Pulai River Estuary by the Ramza Convention. Johor Ramza sites are located in the Iskandar Development Region southwest of Johor State. Kukup Island Johor National Park Kukup Island is an area of 647 hectares of mangrove swamp forest and 800 hectares of mud flat. Tanjung Piai Johor National Park Tanjung Piai is an area of 526 hectares of mangrove swamp forest and 400 hectares of mud flat. Pulai River Forest Reserve Pulai River is an area of 9,126 hectares of riverine and estuarine mangrove swamp forest. Almost the entire Ramza site area in Johor is covered with mangrove forest and mud flat of intertidal influence and they represent 35% of the total mangrove cover for the state of Johor. Mangrove swamp forest are trees and shrubs which have adapted to living in muddy, oxygen-poor condition, saline environment in between land and sea. Kukup Island is an important stopover place for many migratory birds. Kukup Island protects traditional fishing villages of more than 100 years old. The villages have been dependent on the sea for a living since time immemorial. Today, fish cage rearing Seafood restaurants and homestays are expanding industries in this area. Kukup Island Johor National Park is located in Pontian District. Kukup Island is very special because it is the second biggest uninhabited mangrove forest in the world and one of a few mangrove islands in Southeast Asia which remains intact. Kukup Island is protected wholly as a nature reserve under the Johor National Parks Corporation enactment 1989 in which only ecotourism, recreation, research and education activities are allowed. Tanjong Piai Johor National Park is located in Pontian District. It is surrounded by traditional Malay farming and fishing communities. Tanjung Piai attracts many local and foreign visitors as it is geographically located at the southernmost tip of mainland Asia. It is very special because it is a coastal mangrove forest which still maintains a high value of biodiversity. Tanjung Piai is protected wholly as a nature reserve under Johor National Parks Corporation enactment 1989 in which only ecotourism, recreation, education and research activities are allowed and one of its main attractions is to view the magic moment of sunset at the southernmost tip of mainland Asia. Pulai River Forest Reserve straddles the districts of Puntian and Johor Bahru. It has been a production forest reserve since 1928 in which sustainable forest management practices by the Johor State Forestry Department is well documented. The locals are highly dependent on the mangrove resources for a living, such as fishing and logging for the pool and charcoal industry. Mangrove forests of Pulai River are very special because it is the largest block of mangrove forest in Johor and one of the largest remaining intact riverine mangrove ecosystem in Peninsular Malaysia. And because of its size, it is of major ecological importance 
to support the rich biodiversity of the region, where various ecosystems are very much dependent on these mangrove forests. The Convention on Wetlands of International Importance, or better known as the Ramsar Convention, is an intergovernmental treaty which provides the framework for national action and international cooperation for the conservation and wise use of wetlands and their resources. Ramsar site is wetlands of international importance. Wetlands are defined as areas of marsh, fen, peatland or water, whether natural or artificial, permanent or temporary, with water that is static or flowing, fresh, brackish or salt, including areas of marine water, the depth of which at low tide does not exceed 6 meters. Malaysia signed the convention on 10th November 1994 and Burra Lake in Pahang State was selected as the first Ramza site in Malaysia. People and wetlands are ultimately interdependent. In the past, humans have used wetlands to obtain food, medicine, timber for building houses, firewood, and also as a place to live. Wetlands are natural resources of great economic, cultural, scientific and recreational values to human life. It supports a spectacular biological diversity of flora and fauna in the region which are dependent on the mangrove ecosystem for survival. The mangrove forest is a refuge for a diversity of unique and threatened wildlife, many of which are wholly dependent on this ecosystem. It is a breeding, hiding and feeding place for a diversity of marine life such as fishes, prawn and shellfish. Here is also where some aquatic species spend a part of their life cycle. It is also important for resident and migratory shore birds. The mangrove forest provides coastal protection from strong sea current and wind. It provides opportunities for ecotourism, recreation, education and research. It plays an important role in ecological services such as sediment and nutrient retention, removal of toxic waste, carbon sequestration, microclimate stabilization, hydrological, nutrient and material cycles. It contributes important revenue to local communities through fisheries and forest trees. Johor National Parks Corporation or JNPC which manages the Johor National Parks is the management authority and implementing agency for the Ramza Convention in Johor State. JNPC implements area patrol and enforcement activities, conservation and inventory of flora and fauna, ecotourism programs, education and awareness programs. The Ramza Convention also involves various government agencies, NGOs, corporate bodies and international organizations. World Wetlands Day is celebrated on the 2nd of February every year. 
the date is selected to remember the signing of the Ramsar Convention by the first 18 nation members in 1971 at the Ramsar city of Iran. The mission for the World Wetlands Day is to expose to the general public the importance of wetlands and the need for its conservation. Every year, Johor National Parks Corporation organizes World Wetlands Day celebration which is participated by more than 500 people from various government and private agencies, students from schools and higher learning institutions as well as local communities. Some of the activities involved in the World Wetlands Day celebration include awareness programs, conservation work such as replanting mangrove trees and beach cleanup. JNPC aims at planting 10,000 mangrove saplings every year with the cooperation from various agencies including corporate sectors. JNPC implements SEPA programs at all the Ramza sites in Johor. SEPA is the acronym for Communication, Education, Participation and Awareness. Ramza SEPA programs in Johor State is managed by the Ramza unit based in Kukup Island, Johor National Park. The Ramza unit of Johor implements SEPA programs in primary and secondary schools as well as institutions of higher learning. SEPA programs involve activities such as awareness raising talks, pledge ceremony to care for nature as well as exhibitions by various government agencies and NGOs. The objectives of SEPA programs are to create nature awareness through disseminating information on the importance of wetlands through community participation and to inculcate a feeling of love for nature in younger generation through the various activities organized by JNPC. Mangrove swamp forests, which once stretched along the coastline and river estuaries, have been reduced significantly to a few scattered patches. Now it is one of the most threatened ecosystems in the world. Some of the main causes for their decline are Shoreline erosion caused by extreme wave and wind Water pollution caused by oil spill Rubbish and chemical substances floating in the sea Illegal forest clearing Excessive fishing without size limitation and the destruction of fish breeding ground. Therefore, the Johor State Government has taken various steps to maintain the mangrove forest in the country and one of the initiatives is to support the Ramsar Convention. The Ramsar Convention was developed as a means to call international attention to the rate at which wetland habitats were disappearing in the past due to a lack of understanding of their important functions, values, goods and services. Wetlands are always perceived as wasteland and destroyed for quick gains by unscrupulous people. The mission of the Ramsar Convention is the conservation and wise use of all wetlands through local, regional and national actions and international cooperation, contributing towards achieving sustainable development throughout the world. Nowadays, human impacts are seen as the main reasons for the degradation of our natural environment and the extinction of many species of wildlife. Therefore, SEPA programs are a means to educate the public about the need to conserve the wetlands in this country. The Johor National Parks Corporation is given the responsibility to implement the Ramsar Convention mission in order to preserve this priceless natural heritage for our future generations.